World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Good, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Teresa Daniels, and uh, we are on Church Revival again all through this month of August. And uh, what we'll be talking about will be about family matter. Hallelujah. Family matter, thing, all about the family, the father, the mother, children, and also Christ as the end. Amen. Hallelujah. But before we proceed, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we worship you, we exalt your name, we give you glory and adoration. Father, we pray that, Lord, you visit us and reveal unto us all that we need to know, all that you want us to know, all that need that we need to come to our, our lives, that our eyes of understanding will be enlightened. Thank you, Lord, because you will grant me the grace to speak in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. All through the month of August, it will be about family matter every Wednesday. Hallelujah. And the first um, topic that we want to address is about Christ being the head of every Christian home. Hallelujah. Christ as the head all through the month of August will be what we're going to be talking about. God will be taking us through every, mostly things about family matter that we Christians we need to be enlightened about. And this will be divided into four different topics, which I've already said. The first one is Christ is the head of our home as a Christian. And secondly, the role of the father. Thirdly is the role of the mother. And also, on the last uh, Wednesday of the month will be the role of the children. So today, we will be, God will be revealing to us Christ as the head of each home christ as the head of a christian home hallelujah in a home that um that got married only in the lord will automatically be under the umbrella of jesus one of the reasons why the lord has asked us as christians to marry only in the lord especially led by apostle paul is that we you know the leading and the covering of such house of such home will be Jesus Christ. I can't be a Muslim now, and uh, my husband is uh, 80s. The children are Christians. You know there will be elder skelter in the family. That is why God has said in His Word that we should only marry only in the Lord. So it will be easy to put everybody in the home. Under the canopy of Jesus Christ, being the head of the home. Hallelujah. When a house is divided by what they believe in, it will be difficult to put such home under the coverage and the leading of Jesus Christ. For those people that have experienced what I'm talking about, they will understand what I am actually saying. When the mom is a Christian and the a Pentecostal Christian and the, um, the father is a Catholic. They believe in different things, different uh, doctrine. There will be conflict somewhere, somewhere. Hallelujah. Or maybe the, the wife is a free thinker and the husband is a, a born again Christian. There will always be conflict somewhere when it comes to spiritual matters and some other things that has to be led by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 39 mentioned how a woman wanting to remarry should let the man be only in the Lord. Romo Koshata. Just like God gave Moses the instructions that Israelites should not marry any other pagan women around them, but only in between uh, just in the same circle whereby they can be governed by the law of God. Hallelujah. Why is this? This is to allow God to be the head lead in the home. Ramosotaba. 
when challenges arises, both man and the woman can go back to God for leading and direction. Remember why? Because both of them have the same understanding, have the same principle, have the same knowledge who God is. So they can get back to God in one accord, in agreement, in prayer, in fasting, in all the application of Christian, um, uh, Christian mysteries, like the communion, like feet washing, like um, spring, blood spring, blood, the blood of the lamb sprinkling, you know, they both will have the same understanding, the same root. Eyes of understanding of both party you no know, can comprehend the revelation from the word of God. So not that the the wife is going up and the husband is down and the understanding is different and they couldn't even get themselves together. So what the Lord is saying as the head of our own is that we have to marry in the Lord so that God Jesus Christ can be the head of the the lead head he lead in our homes. Christian homes. Hallelujah. I never said that there wouldn't be challenges. There will be challenges in homes, in, in marriages, even when kids are already coming in. But I'm telling you, when you allow Jesus Christ to be the head of your home, the things are done differently and in a better way. And testimony begin to roll in. When the husband knows his role, the wife knows his uh, role, and the children knows what they need to do, and Christ is being the head of that home, there will always be magic testimony despite whatsoever challenges that the devil might want to throw at them. Christ as the head of every Christian home. What does the Bible say about the headship at home? First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 says but i want you to realize that the head of every man is christ and the head of the woman is man and the head of christ is god the head of christ the head of every man is christ the head of every man is christ hallelujah so what does that mean that means the man and Jesus Christ, they have a connection somewhere whereby Jesus, being the head of the man, will be able to download and tell the man all the mission, the mission statement, the vision statement, all that the family needs to know, all that the family needs to do, you know, because the man is going to give account.